your heads with us. Father, we bless you and thank you again today for your mercy and for your grace. And we're so thankful, Lord, that you bless us to come together another time and assemble in your house. We're grateful, Lord, for what you have done this day that we celebrate. We're thankful you released our mother church from all indebtedness. Hallelujah. We give you glory for that. Nobody could do it but you. You said in your word, this is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our eyes. And we thank you, Lord, for this privilege to celebrate. We pray that you have been pleased with all that has transpired. And uh, Lord, now we ask that you remain and send that anointing for the next few moments that makes preaching easy. Use this frail vessel and help all of us in our frailty to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Get glory, praise, and honor. Save those who are not saved. Strengthen those already in the fold. And Lord, we always like to ask you to let your healing touch be present. You can heal even in this moment. And so every sick body, Lord, whether they're in the room or streaming today, drop off a blessing of healing. And we thank you now in Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. We may as well praise him one more time with a hand clap. Amen. We owe him all the praise that we can give him. I'm not going to be long. I know all of us are anxious for that. The grand finale, the part that we're here for, that Bishop Fennell will lead us in in just a few moments. Burning of the mortgage. But I just want to read today from the 16th chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew and verse <clears throat> number 18. And I solicit your prayers these few moments. Matthew 16 and 18. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And read it again. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And since there's nobody here but who? Amen. Let's read it once again, but this time aloud in unison. What does it say? Say also unto thee, Thou art Peter, on this rock, I will build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. May the Lord again add a blessing to the reading of his word, for we are the hearers and by faith the doers on today. I want to thank God again for these singers who have come and, and this wonderful band and, and everyone who is here from CAM today. I do want to say I appreciate your presence. God bless Southern Bishop Walton. So glad to see you. I want to just use for a message title today, uh, God's Invincible Church. God's Invincible Church. It's kind of been a quandary a little bit as to what I might say and what would be appropriate for a service uh, such as this, such a grand service, such an auspicious occasion. I was reaching around and feeling around because the significance of this service was not lost upon me. And I suppose most of us as preachers, sometimes we have to be careful because we fall, we can fall prey uh, to wanting to be new and novel and profound. And sometimes we want to find something perhaps with a little greater obscurity to talk about that we think uh, might have greater resonance. But the longer I preach, the more I come to understand that Nothing speaks better for God's word than his word. We don't really have to em embellish it. And saints that 
Okay, I'm hear me say oftentimes that even in our quest not to be overly redundant, uh, I think that God embedded in his word uh, with intentionality that it be redundant. And I'll tell you why, um, the, the, so far as we know, the canon of scripture has been closed. And so you start in Genesis and you, uh, you end in Revelation. And the truth be told, if you get much newer than that, you ran out of the word. Um, and if you read the word uh, like we're supposed to read the word, we end up reading the same words. Can I get a witness in here? God gives a different twist, a different spin, a different perspective. That's because uh, his word, uh, it lives. Though in print, it is contained again in the 66 books that we call the canon. The canon itself is a lie. Jesus said, as you well know, my words, they are what? Spirit and they are life. It has its own vibrancy, its own buoyancy. His word really is, is, is adaptable. What I mean when I say it's adaptable, it can fix itself. The circumstances, the situations. That's why, you know, it never runs out of relevance. As old as it is, a document written thousands of years ago, but yet it speaks uh, to all of us in the current context of our time. You know, uh, the more I read God's Bible and see how it fits, the more I'm persuaded that there is a God. There has to be a God. How could a book live this long? Written by men, or pen, should I say, by men who have slept for centuries. And yet, when I open it, it speaks directly to me. It applies itself to, to every situation. You ever notice his word is so alive, it invades every circumstance. His word turns corners, goes up mountains, and down into valleys. No matter how low you are, his word can find you. No matter how, how far away you are, when, when God's spirit connects with his word, it can, it can catch your attention way off and, and pull you back into line. It's a lamp. Is it not? It's a lamp and a light. And, uh, and nobody should really get lost with the word. But I'm glad if, if you do get lost, you can find your way back with it. There's this something majestic about his word. And so this text to me has its own uh, profundity. I think it has its own application to, to you and I who are assembled in this room today. It reminds us uh, of the church, not simply the invincibility, but it, it, it reminds us of the responsibility of the church. Church has a responsibility. This church of, of such history and such uh, uh, greatness, such a, a historic value, uh, it, it has a responsibility. It's important that this church thrives and that this church stays alive. A lot of people don't understand that because uh, in, in this modern era, we've lost our sense of connectedness. And, uh, you know, I, how God has glued us together. We, we live in a day when everybody wants to paddle their own canoe. Bad. Churches want to do it. Pastors want to do it. Uh, I'm on a quest right now. I, I said something yesterday in our council that I want to meet with all the young ministers at our convocation coming up in about five weeks. And not to fuss them out. I want to sit down and listen to them. But I also want to talk to them, get some of the other uh, seasoned bishops to talk to them and remind them of who they are and what they are and how important it is to be connected. That's what the body life is all about. Can I take my time? We, may, we, we, we become disaffected, but we need to be reminded that we're in this together, that we need one another. Can I get a witness somewhere? 
We live in a day that a lot of a lot of pastors want to be independent. I, I'm not casting aspersions. I don't think anybody should just be in a, independent. Because independent means I'm unaccountable. You've heard me say it before. If you are a pastor and you don't have a pastor, you're a dangerous man and a dangerous woman. Somebody, somewhere, need to be able to tell anybody that they're wrong. Let me help all of us pastors. Ain't nobody God but God. We represent him, but we are not him. We're vessels that, that are used by him. But, but uh, and I know some of y'all don't want me to say, sometimes we step out the wheel. Sometimes we miss the wheel. You know, we got to quit making pastors, and pastors have to quit making themselves Superman, an invincible person. We, 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 we've sold that to you, and we've set ourselves up. Sometimes we miss it, and I don't feel bad. Have you ever missed it since you've been pastor? I sure have. You ever made a bad call? Thank you, Dr. Amos. You, you feel me? I, I made some bad calls, but I'm still the man of God. Y'all catch that after a while. I'm a human man of God. But we miss it. We get so deep that we, we want to make ourselves um, human perfection. We really want to personify, we're not Trinitarians, but this, let me say, we really want to personify the fourth person in the Godhead. We try to make you think we're God, we end up thinking we're God. I'm, I'm working on something. But none of that is true. <laughs> Elijah, as weighty as he was, huh? You know, Elijah called fire out of heaven, and God responded to his prayer. He 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 prayed a, a sentence, and it stopped raining for three years. That's favor with God. But yet the widow's son died. The woman's son died. And, and Elijah had to say, God hid it from me. You don't have to know everything to be a child of God. You don't have to be a... <laughs> you don't have to understand everything to lead God's people. All you got to do is stay connected with he who does know. Can I get a witness? Somebody, somebody tell your neighbor, God knows everything. And tell him if, 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 if tell him if he knows everything, I ain't got to worry about everything. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it, but he knows how to fix it. I don't know who my next enemy is, but I know God has already handled them. Something about God. Old saints used to sing a song and said, "I don't know about tomorrow, but I know who holds tomorrow, and I know He holds my hand." Can I get a witness in here? Look at your name and say, whoever is setting up a trap for you, don't stay up at night worrying about it. You go on and sleep. And why can you sleep? Because he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep all day and all night. Oh, God got angels watching over me. I dare you to tell your neighbor, look at that angel sitting by you right now. If you don't believe it, you ought to quit singing the song that we're standing on holy ground. And I know that that, what? Don't sing it if you don't believe it. I got angels around me right now. Every time I make a move, the angels right there. Glory. Glory. That's why my car didn't slide off the road the other night. I had lost control, but God was still in control. The devil tried to kill me, but God said, you a lie, devil. Can I get a witness in here? Somebody tell somebody I'm still standing by the grace of God. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And hey, devil, I 
ain't going nowhere. I'm going to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. And while I'm dwelling, I'm going to get to praising. I'm going to make a joyful noise. I dare somebody to give God a praise right now. You got to run on in a hurry. Tell somebody that was a just because praise. But tell them you don't want me to get to thinking. You don't want me to get specific. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Oh, I'll give you 10 seconds to give God a specific praise. For a specific miracle. Ah, open your mouth and praise him. Glory be, he brought me out of the miry clay. He sat my feet on a rock. He put a song in my soul. You may be seated. Sunday. I'm trying to move on, but I'm having flashbacks. Look where he brought me from. Look what he brought me out of. And sometimes it ain't about what he brought me out of and what he brought me from. Look what he's taking me through right now. I shouldn't be here, but I'm still here. I ought to be dead, but I'm still alive. COVID should have got me. But I'm still inhaling and exhaling. Something. Something. Something about God. Powerful. Help us, Holy Ghost. Powerful. We're sitting here. We have a responsibility. Mother Church has a responsibility. Every other branch of the church, our daughters, we have the responsibility. Individual saints, we have the responsibility. That's why we collectively work together, collectively cooperate together, regardless of our alphabet, regardless of our denomination. I'm going to go another, regardless of our picadillos. Because all of us have our little picadillos. And we got to be careful sometimes that our picadillos don't don't divide us. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. We all got some pet doctrine. Crazy stuff we believe. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. While you looking at the preachers, you got some crazy stuff you believe. Can I get a witness in here? But you can't allow those things to bring division. There's some things that all of us can rally around. Some things that bring us together. And I, can I just drop this in? I don't think Bishop minds me. I'm still apostolic and Pentecostal. <clears throat> Bishop Golden say, me too. I, I don't cast aspersion on other denominations. And uh, I, I'm, not one, I'm not a preacher that tries to put everybody else in hell. I'm going to let God worry about heaven. All I know is I want to make it. He'll, he'll finish the best. If, if I don't think you're going, but you make it, it's cool with me, honey. Long as my feet strike Zion. Oh, I, I wish I, can I get a witness in here? We're not here to judge. We're not here to put each other down. Hello, somebody. I don't want to get in trouble. And everybody got some history. Can I get five people that can just tell somebody without telling them your business? I'm grateful for that blood. Huh? You can sit here and act like you never needed it if you don't, but, but honey, I need that blood. Matter of fact, I need it every day. Lord, keep my soul from day to day. Under, I need somebody to get graphic with it. Wave those arms and say, under the blood. I don't want to work your neighbor real hard, but tell him that's why I'm still here right now. The blood, the blood. Tell him I'm under the blood. He cobbles Sunday. I got a right to praise it. Because the blood still works. Working right now. When I see the blood. You don't know what the devil's trying to do to your house right now. Lord told me to tell somebody the devil is trying to break in your house, but he, he just ran away because he saw the blood. 
And the blood said, no demons allowed. No. 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 Oh, I wish I had me a praying church. Tell your neighbor, everything around me is covered by the blood. You better not mess with me. Devil, you better not mess with me. I'll say in the prayer my grandmother prayed. Satan, the blood is against you. Come out of my children. Get out of my bank account. Turn my marriage loose. Get out of my health. By his stripes, y'all ain't going to help. Lord told me to tell somebody, lay your hands on yourself right now and say, I'm healed, I'm healed. I forgot to tell you, after you say I'm healed, give him a praise for the healing. Don't. You don't wait till you feel better. You praise him. Glory be to God. I bind arthritis. I'm sorry. I bind arthritis right now. I decree healing over that arthritic knee. Now y'all don't want this kind of prophecy. I bind migraine headaches. I claim back spasms are gone. Cancers are dried up. Tumors are backing away. High blood pressure is under control. Everything got to bow to the blood and to the name. Because at the name of Jesus, every name. Let me stop. You may be seated. Take your seat. Take your seat. Oh, I feel healing virtue. Woo! I feel healing virtue. I hope you don't have a squeamish neighbor. I know we don't do too much holding hands. Lay hands on somewhere on their shoulder, real life, and decree healing one more time. Say, be healed in the name of Jesus. Whatever ails you, I declare it healed right now. About this time tomorrow, you're going to have a praise. You're going to have a testimony. You're going to wake up and say, look what the Lord has done. While I'm on it, he just told me I'm going to pay some bills off. I'm going to cancel some debts. I'm going to send some stray children back home. He told me. Somebody catch it with a praise right now. You may be seated. I'm trying to move on. I feel some. I feel some virtue in the house. Ask your neighbor, you feel what I feel? I tell them God is up to something. Anything is possible. To them, to him who believeth. This Bible, this Bible talks to us. Ikaya! Ikaya! Close. Got to close. He's calling us back to our roots. Can I have seven minutes? Tell somebody, give him seven minutes. Uh, he's calling us. Just enunciate that. This, this put, you ain't got to bother your neighbor. Say, he's calling us back to, to our roots. We got to quit denying who we are. Quit trying to be like other churches. I'm not, I'm not going far with that. Quit trying to bring. Be like other churches. They got a sound that ain't our sound. Oh, help me, Bishop. I don't want to get in. Pull my coattail, Bishop. They, we're trying to sing like them. Sing like us. Can I get a witness in here? We sing an other folks' song. They don't know. They don't know him like we know him. We're people of the name. Can I talk to the not titles? We're people of the name. The Bible says the apostles preach Jesus and him crucified. Can I get a witness in here? 
We sang those songs. That sang back in the day. I'm in the pulpit where they sang those songs. Pipe organ was here. Is that right? Oh, sweet wonder. Y'all got to help me preach. Look at your neighbor and say, do you know that song? They may not know it. Don't put them on the spot. Just quote the chorus. Say, oh, sweet wonder. Oh, sweet wonder. Jesus, the son of God. Oh, how I love him. Oh, how I adore him. I dare you to holler and say, Jesus. I gotta leave that alone. I gotta leave that alone. He's the great I am. I don't want to stay here. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Great. Eternal Wonder. Holy Counselor. Zion's Righteous. He is the great I am. I'm trying to leave that alone. I gotta leave that alone. I gotta leave that alone. The church. Something about the church. Something about the church. Be reminded of our mission. I'm almost through. Be reminded of our mission. Don't change mission. God, I believe, has called this group here to Christ's temple. And whoever is streaming, this man of God, Bishop Charles M. Fennell, has called us together. Not just, not just to burn a piece of paper. But to be recommitted to our mission. That mission is to declare who Jesus is. We can't fit in with everybody. And we got to learn how to be cool with that. You can't run with everybody. Y'all ain't going to talk to me. Jesus, Jesus stood so profoundly upon, upon the, his personhood. Stood so profoundly upon who, who God that the Father had raised him up to be. You remember he told his disciples, except you eat my flesh, drink my blood. See, we don't want to be like Jesus. He said, you don't have any life in you. The Bible says, from that day forward, many went back. No longer, no longer walked with him. They said, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? But that didn't bother Jesus. He turned around to the 12 and said, will you go also? You, 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 you got to get a don't care spirit. We try to carry everybody along. That, oh, I don't want to get in trouble. Bishop, pull my coattail. I'm sick of diluted church. Weak church. Preachers afraid to preach the truth. Tiptoeing through the tulips. This ain't no tiny Tim. Compromising. I refuse to compromise. I still believe in repentance. I still believe in the baptism. Dunk, dip, submerge, bury, wet. With the name of the Lord Jesus Christ called. I still believe you got to speak in another tongue. I need somebody. We used to say, ask your neighbor, do you have it like the Bible said? I don't care what Reverend Billy Bob said. Do you have it like the Bible? These signs shall follow them that believe. God give us back our power so we can lay hands on the sick. Then they recover so we can cast out demons. Give us back our power. Drink any deadly thing. It shall not harm. I'm not looking for a snake. But if it bite me, it can't kill me. And some of y'all been bitten by some snakes. Some church house snakes. But tell your neighbor, I'm still here. Tell them they meant it for evil, but, but God meant it for good. Still holding on. Ikabate. You may be seated. Gotta get ready to close. Ikama. Gotta get ready to close. My time. Ikamate. Ikamabosia. Woo! 
the Lord just told me to tell somebody, I got you covered. I got you covered. I got you covered. Who the who to Jesus? In this text said, who? 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 Do men say that I, the son of man, am? That's why this church is still on this corner. Can I get a witness in here? That's why God brought Bishop Garfield Thomas Haywood, planted him on this corner, so that there would be a house that yet declared who Jesus is. And that's why he has Bishop Charles M. Fennell. I don't know how long Bishop has been here now. 21 years. He set him here. So that the word would not be diluted. Can I get a witness in here? Who do men say that I am? They were all confused. Some say that thou, Ika, thou art John the Baptist. Some say Elias, which is the derivation because uh, this was pulled from the, the Greek New Testament. And others, Jeremiah, were one of the prophets. But then Jesus <laughs> said, but whom say ye that I am? I know man is all over the place. He said, but you've been hanging with me. Look at your name and say, you can't hang with Jesus and not know who he is. Will y'all help me preach three more minutes? You, you don't know who he is. Evidently, you don't have the Holy Ghost. Oh, taste and see. Who do you say that I am? Oh, I'm going to get in trouble today. Bishop, grab me. I don't know how. You leave the truth. I'll sit down, y'all. Let me sit down. <laughs> I ain't lost no members in the last week, so I can say this. I've lost my share, but not in the last week, so. Because somebody's going to say I'm throwing stones. I ain't lost none that I know about in the last week. I might lose some after this. But how, how, how in the world can you have the Holy Ghost and go to a church where the preacher don't have the Holy Ghost? Can I buy five amens? I'm, I'm so sick. I don't like losing members, but I can deal with it if at least you go to a church of what the old saints say, like precious faith. You're going to leave me. Go somewhere where they still got the Holy Ghost. I don't want to be up in no church. I can't hear no tongue. I'm getting in trouble. Can I get a witness? Tell your neighbor I need to hear some tongues every now and then. We don't need preachers preaching to us that don't speak in tongues. Oh, they done got mad now. We're more interested in talent than we are in the anointing. Talent don't do nothing for you but put on a show. But the anointing destroys the yoke. I got to quit. I got to quit. Y'all won't give me three more minutes. I'm not old. I'm not foggy. I don't believe in practicing what we did in 1900. I believe we must be adaptable to the time. But if you stay anointed, he'll make you adaptable. We think seminars build our church. No, they don't. It's good to have information. But a seminar don't build your church. 
I'm just blessed to get a seminary degree. That ain't going to do nothing for my church. Thank God if it gave me a little more information. See, we're missing it. Y'all going to church, you don't know nothing. I'm sorry, Bishop. You don't know nothing about these people. All they do is take one of y'all to run over there and then they go, everybody else. They have teas. Honey, we've been having teas for a hundred years. Where you been? And it's strange. I didn't mean to get into this. Bishop, somebody grab me. You go over there and you join every ministry. We've been begging you for years. Now you go across town. Come back around us. You change your language. The father. Holy Spirit. I know the Bible says Holy Spirit, but I like Holy Ghost. I dare you. Open. Open your mouth wide and shout out. Holy Ghost. If you have it, look at your neighbor and say, I got the Holy Ghost. Huh? Tell him like the old son. Tell him I got that genuine. That's what the old son say. Genuine. They didn't pronounce it right. So what? You can break all the English you want. My pastor broke every word in the dictionary. But he was anointed when he preached the word. God's word works mispronounced. So what if you can't say Zephaniah? So what if you call a Bethany goat a Billy goat? It don't matter. God knows what you mean. Can I get a witness in here? Say that you are. They named every name but the right name. And some of y'all, excuse me, are running places where they call on every God but the right God. They have talent but no anointing. What kind of church is it that don't make an altar call? What kind of church is that that don't believe in divine healing? That ain't what your mama taught you. We're not anti-doctors. When I get sick, I go to the doctor. I got a dentist appointment in the morning. But see, you're too scientific. I believe in science, but I got to back up to science. What the doctor can't do, Jesus can do. Oh, I wish I was in the right church. Somebody lift your hand and, and shout glory today. Shout glory another time. My time is gone. Got to take my seat. I was far spent. Jesus personalized the question. See, I heard what everybody else had to say about me. He said, but I want to know who do you say that I am? And it was Peter, the ignorant one. Peter. The fisherman. Peter. The one that was there in the water. Half naked. Jesus had to put clothes on him. It was Peter. The one that Jesus changed his name. Look at your name and say the Lord changed my name. You'll get that another time. But tell him hey neighbor. The, the Lord changed my name. When Jesus called him, his name was Simon. Simon. Somebody say Simon. That, that was his name when, when Jesus called him. But, but then Jesus gave him another name. Can I get a witness in here? Change his name. And, so I'm going to change it from Simon. And from this day forward... 
They're going to call you Cephas. Can I get a witness in here? Cephas is Aramaic for rock. Peter is Greek for rock. And Peter or Cephas is the name that, 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 that Jesus gave to Simon. And he said, Simon, you've been walking with me. And I've changed your life. Let me see the hands of somebody that the Lord changed your life. If he changed you, look at your neighbor and say, he changed my life forever. I wish I was in the right church. Can I have three more minutes? If you know you've been changed, look at your neighbor and say, hey, neighbor, he changed my life forever. We used to sing that old song. There's been a great change in me. I am so happy. I wish I had five people to help me preach. I am so free. Look and say it brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. We don't sing that no more, but they say, oh, there's been a great change in me. Look at your neighbor and say it another time. He changed my life forever. Tell them I, the places I used to go. Grace won't let me go back no more. What a wonderful change in my life since grace found me. And I hear the Lord saying, I want to know what the change folk have to say. Do you know who I am? And Peter opened his mouth wide and said, Thou art to Christ, the son of the living God. Turn and tell your neighbor, I know who he is. Find you another neighbor. I thought you were going to help me close the message. Find you another neighbor and say, hey, neighbor, everybody don't know who Jesus is. But see, I'm so glad I found it out. Would you tell him who he is? Would you tell him who he is? Would you look at somebody? Tell him who he is. Tell them who he is. Tell them who he is. Some of y'all ain't opened your mouth yet. Tell him your own experience. Tell him since I found him, he's been my everything. Since I found him, y'all ain't gonna help me preach. I found out that when I get in trouble, I don't have to call three different things. I don't have to say, hey, father. I don't have to say, hey, son. I don't have to say Holy Ghost, but tell your name I can call him by his name. Somebody say Jesus. I thought I was in the apostolic church. Somebody say Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Go back at your name and say, I'm so glad I found it out. I'm so glad. Bishop Hayward found it out. Ah, Jesus is the Father. I wish I was in the right church. Jesus is the Son. Would you get your preacher voice on? Look at your neighbor and say, Hey, Jesus is the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. He's my everything. I said, he's my everything. That's why the word says, upon this rock, I'll build my church. The gates of hell shall not prevail. I came to tell somebody, when you got Jesus, you have the victory. When you have Jesus, hey, I feel like preaching, but nobody will tell me to preach. Ah, when you have Jesus, you got to get your preacher voice. If you a sister, put your hand on your hip. If you a brother, put your hand behind your back and say, ah, nobody like Jesus. He's my everything. I keep winning. 
when it looked like I'm going to lose, I keep getting the victory. Ah, something about my Jesus. When the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord, would you be demonstrative? Would you be demonstrative? Look at your neighbor and say, hey, neighbor, help me celebrate as we close this message. Say, when the enemy come in like a flood, the Lord lifts up a standard. I can't be defeated. Ah! When the wicked, even my enemy, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled, they failed. Oh, I wish I had somebody that would help me preach. Point at somebody and say he tried it, but it didn't work. He tried to run me out of the church, but it didn't work. He tried to make me turn my back on Jesus, but it didn't work. I've tasted of a sweet thing. And I'm not afraid to tell anybody that Jesus is the best thing than cocaine. <laughs> better than heroin. Better than any woman. Better than any man. Can I get a witness today? Put your hand on your hip, sister. Put your hand behind your back, brother. And say, yes. Tell your neighbor, yes, I'm one of them that tried other stuff. Don't get confused because I'm saved tonight. Tell them I tried it, but after I tried it, I found out that can't nobody do you like Jesus. I wish I could preach. He's my everything. He's my will in the middle of a will. Ah, he's my alpha, my omega, my first, my last. Nobody like Jesus. Wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father. Look at your neighbor and say, hey neighbor. We got the clothes, but let me tell you what it did for me. I was sinking deep in sin, far from a peaceful shore, buried deeply, stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry from the waters lifted me safe am I love I'm a product of love 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 lifted me I must close but say hey neighbor how did he lift you tell him he picked me up if you can jump Jump. He picked me up. I dare you to turn around. He turned me around. He set my feet on solid ground. And when he set me there, he put running in my feet, clapping on my hands, praises on my lips, joy in my dance. I come to tell the devil. I can't be defeated and that's why I got to praise him on a Sunday evening at the mother church I must praise him I got to give him glory I got to give him honor he didn't have to do it but he did it anyhow he didn't have to save me but he saved me anyhow I will I will, I will, I 
need to find me somebody that will open your mouth wide and pull it out of your belly and say, I will. Say, neighbor, what will you do? Tell them I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. It's like fire. Shut up in my bone. Said I wasn't going to tell nobody. But I can't keep it to myself. Uh, somebody. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Run across the church and tell three people. I must praise him. And I will praise him.